If you look closely, the moon comes in between the earth and the sun every single month and the earth in between the sun and the moon every single month. Then why don't we see solar and lunar eclipses every month? Hey guys, I'm Ayush and welcome back to Space Chat. Today we're going to be talking about eclipses, solar and lunar eclipses. I'm sure all of you know what eclipses are, but let's revise them. An eclipse occurs when the three celestial bodies, sun, earth and moon, come in a line. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon comes in between the earth and the sun and a lunar eclipse occurs when the earth comes in between the moon and the sun. Let's talk about solar eclipses first. There are three types of solar eclipses. One is the partial solar eclipse, which occurs when the moon partially covers up the sun and it looks something like this. The second one is a total solar eclipse and it occurs when the moon completely covers up the sun and it looks something like this. The third one is the annular solar eclipse which creates, as we all know, the ring of fire and it looks something like this. Let's talk about lunar eclipses now. There are three kinds of lunar eclipses. The first one is a partial lunar eclipse which occurs when the earth's shadow partially blocks off the moon and it looks something like this. The second one is the total lunar eclipse which causes the blood moon. As we all know, there are seven colors in light and six of the colors get absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere, leaving only red. The red color is then refracted upon the moon's surface, giving it that red bloody color and the total lunar eclipse looks something like this. The third one is the penumbral lunar eclipse. To understand this, Here's an image I've created. There are two parts in a shadow, the penumbra and the umbra. The penumbra is the lighter region of the shadow and the umbra is the darker one. A penumbral lunar eclipse occurs when the moon only passes through the penumbral region of the Earth's shadow. It's one of the rarest eclipses happening between zero to nine times in a century. A lunar eclipse happening on the 5th of July 2020 is going to be a penumbral lunar eclipse. This eclipse will be visible from the North America, South America, some parts of Africa and Europe. We all know that the Earth revolves around the Sun in 365 days, which is one year, and the Moon revolves around the Earth in about 28.5 days, which is about one month. I've tried to depict this in this animation which I've created. If you look closely, the moon comes in between the earth and the sun every single month and the earth in between the sun and the moon every single month. Then why don't we see solar and lunar eclipses every month? Interesting, no? Let's see why the eclipses don't occur every month. The moon's orbit is actually tilted at 5.14 degrees and that is why sometimes the moon is above the earth and sometimes below the earth. That is the reason the three are not in a line and as we have seen, all three of the celestial bodies have to be in a single line for an eclipse to occur. Then when do eclipses occur? For this, I've created this animation. When the Earth is revolving around the Sun and it comes at this position, the Moon is now revolving around the Earth like this. And at this point, you can see there is a solar eclipse. And at this point, there is a lunar eclipse. Do you know how many minimum times does an eclipse occur every single year? If you know, put it in the comment section down below. Hope you enjoyed the video and animations I created. If you have, drop a like down below. 
Click here to subscribe to my channel and never miss an upload and click here to know what this channel is all about. Bye for now. Meet you next time.